All right, we are here live at Glendale High School football practice. In the background, back here, they're getting ready for Waynesville. But right here, we are here with senior tailback, pretty much do it all, Trevor Vaughn. Trevor, how are you, man? Good. Good? Doing good. Are you recover have you recovered from last weekend's ridiculous performance? Uh, we didn't keep every one of your kick returns, but I'm pretty sure you had over 500 total yards last week. <laughs> have you let that sink in at all? I mean, do you ever, you ever look back and say that was a crazy game? Yeah, because, I mean, honestly, nobody could really expect to run three returns in one game. No, no. And from what Not at all. the from what the radio said, it was a one of the, uh, a state record, which surprised me. I didn't think it would even be close. I was just just trying to score, try to win. Yeah. Well, how many it. kick returns have you brought back to the house? I mean, just in general in your career. Maybe before that, two. Okay. So yeah, so to do three in one game mm -hmm. was crazy. What was it about their coverage, or was it just you getting better as a kick returner? What I mean, why did you have so much success? Well, I think our special teams this year is a little better on the kick return, but other than that, they just, I just they weren't very good. Right. There's a lot of open holes, and yeah. the fact that on the on one of that my last one that I was able to go one side of the field to the other, mm -hmm. not very good. Well, talk about that because it seemed like they were all three different. Like the first one to start the game, you know, it was the first play of the 2011 season. They kick it right to you, you know, a couple of moves, and you're up the left side and you're gone. Yeah. Second one, we all thought you were pinned on the sideline. You jump over a guy, kind of do the Reggie Bush, make people miss, move on the sideline, ghost up the sideline, and then the last one, you went from one side to the other. You pretty was that your book of tricks? I mean, it's pretty much everything, right? The first one, just good blocking because that middle was pretty much open. The second one, I don't know how I got through there. I just, I just had to get down there, and I saw a few holes, took that chance, and I got through. Yeah. The third one, again, where's? I'm usually I'm supposed to fair catch that, but I saw enough. They're far enough back. I uh -huh. decided that well, maybe I can get extra yards, and then I saw that well, I could go all the way to the other sideline and be just fine. So, right, right. and then I got that. Didn't expect that one. I thought I at least get hit. Right, but. I mean, you don't normally expect it, kind of like mm -hmm. Dante Hall, right, where you go one side to the other. You yeah. obviously don't expect to do something like that. Yeah. And then you were just getting started. I mean, that was just, you know, that was it. Between, you know, running the ball, catching the ball out of the backfield, and then playing defense, you pretty much do everything. Do you like to do everything, Trevor? Yeah. I mean, because it seems to me like, man, I'd be tired, but you, you were in every play of last week's win. The more I'm on the field, the more I like it. I don't like to waste too many plays. I like, I just, I don't like sitting on the bench very often, never have. In all sports I've played, I just don't like to sit on a bench. So if I can play both sides, even special teams, then I'll do it. Right. You don't really seem like the kind of guy that's taking any of them off either. I mean, obviously against Joplin, you're playing corner, and you're actually having to guard. It's not like you know, you're playing against someone who's going to run it every play. You're actually having to out there cover people, tackle people, but you don't really like to. You could. People probably wouldn't blame you if you took a play off, but that's not your style, is it? No, because last – well, with Glendale, since I've been with them, we haven't really had a good season in a long time. We're always having more of a losing record. So, and I think, well, to try to be a leader and just show not to take any plays off and what you can do as an athlete on your own if you just try. And some people complain about not getting the play time. It's because they don't actually go all out. So Right, I and mean, that's a good point because normally it's, People do this at class one or class two because they need the bodies. Here, you don't. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at you. Got plenty of guys here. You don't need the bodies. But is that how you've kind of earned your spot? Is that coach knows that you're gonna basically do the right thing all the time? Yeah. I mean, since I want to be on the field at all times, that he, if he tells me something something to do, I'm gonna do it. If not, try. Yeah. Just because I want to be on the field and I'll do whatever it takes to stay on the field. Yeah. Talk about running the football, because obviously that's what a lot of people know you for. Oh, he's mm -hmm. the tailback at Glendale. And that was, you know, is probably, you know, you probably didn't have 50 or 60 yards rushing the ball. But talk about, is that what you like the most? Do you like carrying the ball? Yeah, I like carrying the ball. It's kind of, it's more like a, it feels like a game or some sort, just trying to not get touched and yeah. see, how, see how good you can personally do. And I like it. It's I feel like you have to strategize for you gotta be, be patient, wait for the block, look for holes. There's just a lot of different things you gotta look for. So how did you form your style? Because you're not the biggest guy. How big are you? Uh, I'm about five nine. Okay. Uh, One seventy. Right. So you're not the biggest guy. Definitely not the biggest back in the Ozark Conference. But how did that help develop your style? Because it's very shifty. You have to make people miss, and then you use your speed in there. But how did you develop that? I honestly don't know, but. 
I didn't start playing football until sixth grade. I used to play soccer and I did gymnastics a lot. Okay. So I think those two things actually help. With soccer, you're always you're nonstop running down and on that that back and forth that huge field. Yeah. And I always played up front, so I was running more than anybody else there. And then gymnastics that helped me with a lot of balance and keeping my feet and everything. And I kind of just put it all together and. I guess I kind of got that. Right. Did you watch anyone growing up? Is there a certain running back that you watch on television that you like that you pattern anything after? I used to watch Marshall Falk. Nice. And that's the only one I really remember, yeah. honestly. Little do it all kind of guy. Mm -hmm. Right. Talk about catching passes out of the backfield. Seems pretty natural to you. I can't remember what it was. It was about third and 20 something, and you had that fingertip catch on the sideline. Yeah. Talk about that catch. I still don't know how you caught it. Well, my mom was saying that. She didn't know how I caught that either, but mm. I thought I turned around and caught it until I watched film. And then I just realized when I did caught it, all I did was look straight up and it came up over my head. And yeah. I just started to think, I don't know how I caught that one either because I didn't know where I was at on the field at that time. Yeah. And I don't know how I stayed in bounds or right. anything. It all looked perfect. It was like it was like the pros. It was like, okay, got two feet in, got the hand up here. It was a good catch. It was going, If it would have gone to replay, if this was the pros or college, it would have been a catch. It was crazy. And that was basically the play on the drive that kick-started the whole win. How big was that to get the win over a team like Joplin, who has been consistently contender in the OC? That's actually, a, I think it's a big win for us fact that it's been a while since we beat Joplin and mm -hmm. the fact that they're a bigger school than us they've always been somewhat a little better but I think we had more talent this year and everything yeah and I think and I thought it'd be a lot hard that like would be hard because they just got that devastating yeah tornado. right well you guys didn't expect so. to score 50 points on them no first of all didn't expect that but talk about what their demeanor was and what they, I mean did could you have told if it didn't say Joplin and you didn't know it was Joplin did they seem different at all on the field no they've always been an aggressive team yeah. they actually when I was running the ball this year they actually held me to only 37 yards and it's usually not like that. Their last year, I ended up getting uh, 155 within three quarters. Mm. So, they, I think they really had something to prove this year, yeah. and just to make up for what they lost. And just, they just wanted to fight. Talk about after the game, because obviously, you know, once the game's over, you shake hands, and Misha says you've got to do all this. But even after they broke down their huddle, you guys waited around to go say to them, "What exactly happened? What did you say to them?" Well, I actually didn't get to go over there because okay. um, somebody else wanted to get an interview. Got it. But Coach wanted us to go over there and congratulate them again and um, tell them, let them know the good luck to their next game and the rest of the season and just to kind of be more friendly towards them now that the game's over. Right. Because usually during game you're always talking smack and trying to get under their skin. and So we just wanted to go over there and show them that there's really no hard feelings and just from the up. from the stands, we can't see the smack talk. Does that happen a lot? There's yeah. a lot of a lot of jibber jabbering back and forth. Yeah, usually when like when close games like that, mm -hmm. you try to get under the skin, make them mess up, and yeah. not do their assignment. And we don't really do that because it messes with our game plan. We want to play our game and everything. Right. But some teams do like to do that to try to get us off our game. Right. So there's actually a lot there. Yeah, okay, all right. Um, talk about your quarterback, Will Rogers. A lot of people weren't really for sure what to get from him. He ends up with nice numbers. Cameron Johnson helping him out. You're helping him out. Talk about Will for a second. I was surprised. He's always been a good quarterback. But at the beginning of the year, I, I was thinking the more and more we practiced, the more and more it seemed he, got, it looked, he was looking better and better. Mm. The only thing I worried about this year was his accuracy. Right. He had a good arm, but I was worried about his accuracy during the MSU camps. Mm. And then I guess after practice, he's been staying behind for about okay. a few minutes and everything. He's been passing some balls. We've been working on snaps and everything else. And he's been getting, I think he's getting better about every practice. Right. He's getting better. A couple of questions left. Talk about college. Obviously, you know, your numbers are going to be crazy. You can do a little bit of everything. People are going to ask, oh, where, where, where Trevor Vaughn's going to play college ball at? Is that in the cards? Is that going to happen, you think? Yeah, I'm hoping I'm going to play somewhere, especially if I keep getting returns like I did. <laughs> yeah. And, oh, I mean, last year I didn't get to play much, so, I mean, I right. have nothing going right now. But 
I got a lot to make up for this season. That's yeah. what I plan on doing. Are you healthy? Does everything feel yeah. good? Everything feel good? good now. It's good. Everything's good. Um, it's good. I mean, so what do you do for fun? Just off the field. Get away from football for a second. What do you do for fun? Uh, well, I hang out with friends mostly. Okay. I, when I'm not doing that, I'll probably just, I'm at home gaming. On okay. Some Madden or, Love them on some Madden. Some more yeah. sport games. Right. What's your squad? What? Who's your team? I really don't have one I stick with. I like to okay. bounce it around, play with different people. Okay. And I don't know. Do you like to play against the, against your friends or against the computer? Yeah. We usually get a, about 10 of us and we get an oh. online franchise going. Oh, there we go. So That's we do the fantasy draft on there. Get just okay. play each other for right. fun. Right on. Play some online, play against other people. But that gets no fun because there's those people who are <laughs> so into it that they'll beat you. 50 to 0. No yes. How good you are. That's exactly right. Because so. they're putting in serious work, right? Yeah. For sure. Well, Trevor, thanks so much, man. Good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.